Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video I'm going to try to answer the question, what is a refractor or refracting telescope? This text is from astronomytelescopes.co.uk, a site filled with descriptions of telescopes of various types, as well as introductory articles on astronomy. Visit astronomytelescopes.co.uk for more information. In simple terms, a refractor telescope uses a glass lens at its end to gather light, and as it passes through the telescope, the light bends. The light then bounces off a small mirror into the eyepiece, where the viewer sees a larger, sharper image of the object they're looking at. Another name for this type of scope is a dioptric telescope. Refracting literally means to bend, and the first models of telescope were refractors. Galileo and others who designed the original technology found this method to be the easiest to make. Scopes used on rifles and other guns are refractors, as well as the small telescopes you find at general department stores. This type of scope tends to be small, but they're ideal for looking at the moon and some of the planets within our solar system. The benefits of choosing a refractor over, for example, reflector telescopes start with the placement of the lens. It's sealed off, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it often, if at all. Also, images seen through the telescope are sharper and steadier, thanks to the tube being immune to changing temperatures and climates. There are very few large-scale refractors used for research because of the disadvantages these scopes carry with them. Few and far between, these drawbacks are the reason that most refractors are for commercial use and small observatories. The largest refractor telescope is at the Yerkes Observatory and measures in at 102 centimeters. Chromatic aberration is one of the most common downfalls. Light wavelengths bend differently, and because of this you may see a rainbow effect around the object you're viewing through the lens. Refracting lenses don't allow ultraviolet light through them at all, and the thickness of the lens determines the clarity of the other lights that pass through. Also, the glass lens itself will eventually dip, thanks to its own weight, because it can only be supported by its ends. Prices on these scopes vary, but considering the difficulties they present for makers of large scopes, the versions available to the public tend to be within a reasonable price range. For those looking to set up a scope in their backyard for clear nights, roughly £100 to £200 will get you a great quality starter scope. If you have more to spend, you can look into computerized telescopes, ones with tracking devices, larger lenses, or higher magnification rates. The prices depend on the maker as well as the technology. The beginner lenses generally measure 60mm, 80mm, 90mm, and offer very clear pictures regardless of their small size. Telescopes come with a tripod to set them on, usually with a rotating ball at the center for easy navigation. You can buy a finder scope, which is essentially a miniature telescope that sits on top of the main scope and helps you to focus in on the object you're viewing, or want to view. It makes observing objects at a distance much easier and much more accurate. Overall, if you're looking to view the moon's surface or planets when they are within range, a refractor telescope is a perfect purchase for you as a beginner. Visit astronomytelescopes.co.uk to view the current best-selling refractor telescopes. Thanks for watching, but don't go yet as I have an important request. Please consider doing one or more of the following. If you'd like me to create a video for you to promote your products or services, go to redspan.com and use the contact form or just leave a comment below. Do the same if the sound of my voice is a fit for your voiceover needs. If you'd like to sponsor more videos like this, go to patreon.com forward slash redspan. Your donation, however small, will help me to improve both the quality and the quantity of my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with others. If you have any opinions, questions or feedback, please post a comment. Finally, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified of new similar videos.
Thank you for your kind attention.